Look how beautiful that is. I mean, so glowy and gorgeous. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because we're doing a full face of a brand. We're doing a full face of what's on my face today. We are talking about Typology Paris and I'm so excited. Ever since I tried their skin tint and their concealer, I've been so intrigued by them. So I went and grabbed a ton of their other products or their other kind of tinted makeup -y products and got my hands on them and tested them out and I have some thoughts and I have two products that really stood out to me of above the rest. I'm so excited to get in this video. Makeup came out beautifully. I feel like this type of makeup, these like types of products I should say, will work well for so many different types of people, especially as summer is coming up. So I'm so excited to get in this video and get started. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this full face of Typology Paris. Typology Paris, let's jump right in. I'm really excited. So first things first, we're prepping our lips with this enzyme peel. And I love an enzyme peel for the lips. It's kind of an exfoliator. It does a good job, but it doesn't scrub the lips too hard. I feel like scrubby products for the lips, I, it, they always feel too harsh. So I like a like more enzyme-y AHA or BHA type of exfoliant. If I don't do that, sometimes I will just put lip balm on let it sit for a little bit, then get a towel and just kind of rub my lips and exfoliate my lips that way as opposed to using like a true scrubby product. But this type of peel is really nice. And so this just has a doe foot applicator, which at first I wasn't sure if I liked the fact that it had a doe foot and I had to apply it to my mouth. It didn't feel as hygienic, but I've actually grown to love it. And we just apply it. Then I let this sit for at least a minute before I go on with the lip stuff. So that's great because we're gonna let it sit throughout the rest of the video. Once it kind of absorbs in and dries down, I might put a little bit of lip balm on top before I move on just so that my lips don't dry out. But this is a great, great product and my lips have been loving this. So what I usually do is I'll do a, this, let it sit, soak in for about a minute or however long you wanna let it sit. Then I go on with my lip products and I just feel like my lips are in a way better spot and I don't have as much peeling and dry crusties that kind of, then I pick at because I have a problem and I can't control like picking at my lips. So this is really, really nice. Next up we have this from Typology. This is their glow drops or their illuminating drops. What is the full name? Oh, just their glow drops. This is such a beautiful product. And I feel like so many people have asked me about this because illuminators are so fun, especially in summer, but year round, they're nice too. It has a dropper and I just wanna show you this. This is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna do like just a little, look how beautiful that is. I mean, so glowy and gorgeous, but what's so unique about this is it's not, even though it has like such a gorgeous reflection once you blend it in, it doesn't have like really big, glitter particles. So I feel like this would work for a lot of people because I know a lot of people don't like something super glittery for all over the face. So you can use this, the way that they kind of say to use it is to mix it in with your face cream, which is beautiful. You can, I also use it all over the face just for highlighting, um, mixing it with foundation. I've used it a bunch of different ways. I love this because this really gives the vibe of like makeup meets skincare, which is my favorite type of makeup to begin with, is something that really feels like skincare and this really does that. So what we're gonna do today is I'm actually gonna just apply it all over my face. I'm not gonna mix it in with um, like a face cream or anything because I really want you to see what it looks like, but this is, oh, it's just so beautiful. And what's nice about this is it just sinks right into the skin and looks so, beautiful and like just look at that glow that it gives oh it's so gorgeous i love this and uh, what i like to do is one kind of dropper is plenty for my face it just melts into the skin looks so beautiful and makes you look like you have such a healthy complexion and what i love about this is even though that like really pearlescent like almost not stark white but it's like that very brighter toned color once you blend it out, it doesn't really have that and it doesn't make me look like the Tin Man or Ashy or anything like that. It's really surprising to me. So I feel like this would actually work for a lot of skin tones. However, I do hope they come out with more shades, more bronzy shades or whatever, but this is gorgeous. I actually love this and it's really nice when you mix it with face cream. 
um, or just wear it alone or just the high points of your cheek. I don't know, I'm obsessed. Now we are gonna move on to the skin tint. I love this product. I've already done a full video on this, so I'm not gonna yap on too much, but this is a beautiful, beautiful product. If you want a full breakdown and all of that, definitely go watch that video. But this is really nice, super natural looking on the skin. The dry down is super natural and it's a very, very light coverage but in the best way where it just kind of gives you a wash of color and also it kind of just evens out the complexion. It is a beautiful, be this is a product that for summer is gonna be ideal. So I got the shade four, I don't know if I said that, and it is dark for me right now. So I'm gonna do a little color correcting with it, but I do want to put it on the back of this hand. Do just show you what it looks like before I color correct it. It is so pretty and this is really the best Look at that beautiful tan color. This is gonna be so gorgeous in summer when I actually you know, have sun on my face, but I really enjoy the way that this kind of just melts into the skin and has such a beautiful natural finish, as you can tell. It's not crazy dewy or anything like that. So what I do is I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take some color correcting drops. I'm gonna use these from um, LA Girl. These are, they're not technically considered clean, but these are great to have in your kit, just like in case. And I'm going to kind of color correct a little bit. So I have the white one, and then I'm going to take a little bit of the blue one to make it a little bit more neutral in tone. And that just makes the skin tint the perfect tone for my complexion right now. I did not lighten it too much because I did want to feel a little bit more tan. It's just so beautiful. The finish is just gorgeous. And having the like glow drops or illuminating drops underneath it just gives it a little bit more of just really healthy looking skin. I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. This is a really nice product. And I know the prices with Typology, they've increased kind of significantly over the last like three years. So if this is something you're interested in, I would grab it sooner rather than later because you never know when they're gonna increase the prices. Now we're gonna move on to the Typology Concealer. I believe I have the shade three in this, medium three, three medium. And this is more of a skin tone color for me as opposed to like a brightening color. I'm gonna do a little swatchy bow in the back of my hand for you. So this is the shade, can you see on my hand yeah you can see this is the shade three which is a nice skin tone color for me you can see actually the dry down of the um, typology skin tint like if I go over it here it like really doesn't move it's it like does dry down and it does a good job so I'm actually gonna take just what's on the back of my hand and just place it under my eyes I actually like to let this one sit for a little bit so before I blend this out we're gonna go on with a little bit of bronzer and I'm gonna go on with the CL bronzer I really like this I believe I have the shade tan three tan this is great and it just blends out like a dream and I'm just put it on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna just take this brush here so this is actually a blush brush this is the Sephora 96 we are bronze now let's blend out our concealer i'm just going to take a concealer brush and blend it out and i'm just going to kind of stamp it in again this is a more like skin tone shade so this is not going to give me a super bright under eye but that's okay we can't always have a bright under eye i do like at times to have something that's a little bit more i guess natural looking as opposed to bright under the eyes and usually your skin tone like true to your complexion tone is really good for looking a little bit more natural under the eyes. Under eyes are concealed. Now I like to set this concealer. I find that when I don't set it, I do have some creasing, but I like to let it sit for a second. So before we go on and kind of set the under eyes and move on to the rest of the makeup, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of bronzer and I'm gonna pull, take it on this contour brush and we're just gonna pull it down to the sides of our nose, just right here. Like it just makes the look look so much more cohesive and then we're just gonna blend it out. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer and I'm actually gonna put it on my lid. And then we're just gonna blend out the edges with a brush with nothing on it. Next, we're gonna take this eyeshadow sticks from um, Nude Sticks and this is in the shade Cocoa, I believe, or Dark Brown. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to read the writing on this. I believe it's the shade Cocoa. I'm just gonna take it and kind of cr draw a messy line on my lash line and just blend it out with my finger. Now let's set the under eye. I'm taking this powder here from Amico Light. It's just their translucent shade. And I'm going to just lightly set. I don't want it to have too much powder, but I do like to set everything in place. Next, we have a blush and I've been loving this one. This one's from Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is the shade Mini Skirt. This is a beautiful blush. It's just, ugh, it's so gorgeous. Let me 
do a little swatch on the front of my hand just so you can see the color is just so beautiful. I feel like in summer, I'm going to be dipping my entire body in this because it's so good. And I'm actually gonna go on with this um, brush today. This is the Sephora 93. This is my favorite Sephora blush brush. And we're just going to lightly, I wanna lightly build it up. I don't want it to be too, too much. Now that we're all blushed up, we're taking more of the glow drops. I'm gonna take a little bit on just my finger. That is not really that little because the very little bit of this goes a long way, but it is, oh, it's so beautiful. And we're just gonna do a touch, just a little bit at a time because it really blends out, like spreads far. So a very little bit goes a long way here. Now I wanna go on with mascara before we go on to the lips. And we have two mascaras here today and I think I'm gonna do a combination of the two. So I have the Westman Atelier, which I'm gonna go on first with first. And then I'm gonna go on with the Jones Road Beauty, which you know is the love of my life. And if you don't know and you're new here, hi. The, this mascara is amazing, the Westman, but the Jones Road Beauty is just elite. It's so good. And I'm not gonna curl my lashes today because I want a little bit more of a subtle lash. So we're just gonna do one coat of each mascara. Now it's time for the lips. We have a new lip oil, the Typology Lip Oil. And I got the shade, is it rose or something like that? Powder pink lip oil. And I'm gonna use, try it on without a lip liner and with a lip liner just so you can see. But first let's try it on without a lip liner. This is really nice. It's very hydrating. It has just like a, a same applicator as the other, um, the enzyme product for my lips, the lip peel. This has that same applicator. I will say, I do wish the applicator was a little bit bigger, just because I feel like I have to dip in more than once. This is the lip oil on, it's so pretty. This is the shade Pink Powder Powder Pink. Is it Powder Pink? Powder Pink. Pink Powder feels real weird as a name. Powder Pink, this is great. I really like the shade. It's very springy in the best way. It looks a little bit more pink in the monitor than it does in person. It's still very pink in person, but it's more a little bit more subtle than it's pulling in the monitor, but this is so beautiful. Such a comfortable wear, has a nice silky feeling. In terms of longevity, it lasts like decently long, um, but if I compare it to let's say something like a Mi Colet or the LYS Beauty Lip Oil, it doesn't last as long as those, but those are definitely the most long lasting lip oils I have in my collection. This I would say wears a very average for a lip oil, but it's very comfortable, very hydrating, smooths out lip lines, and this shade is gorgeous. I really want to grab the, it's like a berry tone that they have. That is a beautiful shade that I feel like I would get a lot of wear out of, but this is really nice. And again, this is a great spring shade for me. I just feel like in spring, this is gonna be one that I'm gonna be loving having in my bag. And what's nice about this is the tint is significant enough. Let me do a little swipe on my hand. It's significant enough that it has payoff, but it's not so intense. So this is it swatched on my hand right here. It's so pretty. It's just a gorgeous shade. So now I wanna try it on with a lip liner for you guys. All right, let's pick a lip liner. We have Rosewood from Jones Road Beauty and the shade 04 from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I think I'm gonna go with Victoria Beckham Beauty today and we're just gonna line our lip. This is 04 from Victoria Beckham Beauty. It's skewing a little bit more pink than it pulls in person. So I'm gonna upload a picture of what it actually looks like in person just so you can see, but this is a beautiful lip liner. I love this. This is the shade that every time I wear it, I get compliments from my friends because they're like, how did you find the perfect note, like your lips but better shade for my complexion? And this is definitely it. It's definitely pulling more pink in the monitor. It's a little bit more ordering ma mauve but not really mauve -y. a little bit brown, definitely pink, but not as light or as um, pink as it pulls in the monitor. Anyways, now we're gonna go on with this lip oil. I just love this lip combination. It is so good. Again, it's pulling a little funky in the monitor because not always, studio lights can kind of skew the color a little bit, but this is beautiful. I love this product. And out of all of the products that I've talked about today, I have two favorites. The two favorites are the um, lip enzyme. This is just so good for keeping smooth, healthy looking lips. This is a great product. I like to use this at night a lot of the time. I put it on at night, let it sit for a minute. Then I go on with the rest of my lip products, whether it's a lip balm or whatever I want to put on that day on top. And I feel like in the morning, my lips just look and feel so good. And also in the morning when I'm feeling like real chappy and it's just, you know, I need a little bit of extra 
work on like making my lips look smooth, this is a great add-on to have. And then my other favorite product is the Glow Drops. These are so beautiful. I mean, I am obsessed. I'm gonna do another swatch on the back of my hand just so you can see it on my palm. So this is a drop of it, can you see? And then we're gonna just do a little swatchy poo. And I want you to see the reflection. I hope it catches on camera. There we go. It is just so beautiful. Look at that glow. It is just gorgeous. I really think the shade of these illuminator drops or glow drops would look so good on like most skin tones because once you blend it out, it doesn't have that pearlescent white reflection to it. It just looks like really healthy, beautiful skin. I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. And yeah, that's it for this video. That is it for this Typology Paris video, full try on of all their kind of makeup products. I would love to know down below. Do you like Typology Paris? Are you interested in them? Let me know down below. I have a whole video reviewing and doing a full breakdown of the um, skin tint and the concealer if you wanna see more in depth reviews, but I really, really like these products and again, this specifically, Hero. This, the glow drops are just so good. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.